So I actually finished this show two weeks ago, and every time I wanted to film a review or a spoiler talk, whatever, something would come up. But time has finally come. I actually have time to do this, so let's finally talk about The Boys. Before I start, I should say this is a spoiler review if you haven't seen it in the title already. So if you have seen The Boys, definitely keep on watching. But if you have not seen it, then click away and go watch it. It's only eight episodes, and then come back to this video. The Boys takes place in a world where there are superheroes, but what people don't know is that they're actually jerks behind the scenes. And Huey, who is just enjoying his life, loses his girlfriend due to the carelessness of one of these heroes. Later, he's recruited by Carl Urban's character, Billy Butcher, who is assembling a team to take down these superheroes once and for all. I'm just gonna say it up front, this show blew me away. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. I mean, I heard about it from other people, but seeing it for myself, they really nailed it with this one. Amazing characters, amazing social commentary, crazy action, crazy effects. Like, this show, I think, had it all. Let's get into it. So what worked? First thing, the performances across the board were amazing in this show. Everybody absolutely killed it. Everybody was able to play with the wackiness of it, but also the emotional weight that there is for a lot of these characters and a lot of these stories. And I think the leads, especially like Carl Urban, and this is probably the best performance I've seen from him ever. Jack Quaid, who I haven't really seen in a lot of things, but he also caught me by surprise. And then there's Erin Moriarty playing Stargirl. She was also amazing. The last time I saw her was in Jessica Jones season one where she was also great, but here it's like times 10. She really gave it her all. Her performance, her portrayal of this character, I think really, really grounded this show. The stuff that you see her go through, the way it changes her viewpoint of things, she just played it so well. Which brings me to my next thing. The stories and the characters in the show are so well done. From the heroes in the seven to the boys, Everybody in the show, every character brings something unique. They do a great job of explaining where these characters came from, explaining their motivations, their ethics, the way they look at the world, their worldview. Everything about them makes sense and you understand it as the show goes on. And we learn more about these characters as the show goes on and it just was done so well where they don't have to spoon feed you stuff. You can kind of just pick it up on your own, you know. It's where they just, show you instead of telling you all the time. I mean, there is some exposition here and there, but overall, I think they do a great job of getting you to really understand these characters and then feeling for them and like understanding where they're coming from. I think they just did so well with that. And with these awesome characters, they have a lot of interesting relationships. They have Huey and Stargirl, Huey and Billy Butcher, Homelander and his boss. Like there's some weird ones definitely, but they also have ones that are great, like great friendships, great romantic relationships, and they all make sense. They don't detract from the story. You do see an interesting dynamic happening between a lot of the characters and how they kind of clash in certain parts and their motivations kind of clash. That back and forth does make it more dramatic, make it more suspenseful, but also makes these characters feel more real and more fleshed out. This show also does a good job of exploring consequences. I remember earlier on the MCU, one of the biggest critiques was that they didn't really explore the consequences of what these people were doing, what these heroes were doing, their battles, their crazy fights, whatever. Later on, I kind of got the hang of it, but this show, from the get-go, you see the consequences of the actions of the heroes, the characters, the boys. Everybody, everything they do comes back in some way. Their actions do have consequences and some very dire ones, and I think that does make this feel more real and makes it feel more believable. And even though this is a superhero show taking place in a fictional world, they still find ways to talk about some very real world issues like sexual harassment and sexual assault in the workplace, corporations. You know, they ask questions like, when does a corporation have too much power? When do they have too much influence? And I think the show does a really great job of handling these concepts, these ideas with care, and they really make you understand it. Even though it's in a more exaggerated context, it still makes sense. It still is relevant to today. I think that's what's great about it is that it's not just a crazy superhero show with really gruesome action and great characters, but it also has a lot of substance and it has a lot of relevance. I also liked how The Seven and Vought were kind of a metaphor, I guess. Well, I never read the original comic, but I, based on how they were depicted in the show, I'm gonna guess they're supposed to be like a parody of sorts to the Justice League and the Avengers and Vought. Well, now we can interpret Vought as like the Disney of them, I guess, 
or the, the Warner Bros, you know, the big corporation that's in charge of the superheroes, right? I love that these superheroes are so complex, but they're also all jerks. Well, not all of them, Starlight's great, but most of them are jerks. And we do see some of them kind of come around towards the end, kind of realize what they're doing is wrong. But I think the ones that really were like crazy were Homelander and A-Train. Homelander is supposed to be like the Superman type. Do we see how he's just more worried about the fame and how he looks and making a good appearance for superheroes and helping out Vought, the company that's in charge of them. He doesn't care who he hurts. He doesn't care what he does. He's just trying to get ahead. To see his development as he goes on and you see more about what he's willing to do in order to achieve this goal of his is crazy. Also kind of deals with the question like what would it be like if someone with Superman's power was actually a jerk? And they kind of also touch on what it's like to have someone like that in your world and how it could actually be scary to know that someone has all of that power. If you get on their bad side, they can just kill you in an instant. I think they just did that part so well. If I had to say what could have been better, and there's not a lot, I think these would probably just be nitpicks. But I think the only things that really kind of bothered me were one, the storyline with the deep. At one point, it felt like they were trying to get you to feel sorry for him, but Seeing as he did what he did in the beginning of the season, I feel like that didn't really make sense. And I felt weird that they're really trying to get you to feel sorry for him at one point. So that was kind of weird, but again, didn't ruin for me. And then the ending, there is a twist and it was good. It did catch me off guard, but at the same time, they set it up like only an episode or two before that things with regarding Billy Butcher ended a certain way here, but then like immediately they say, nope, it was this way. And I feel like that part was a little abrupt. And so I hope that they explain more about that situation in season two, they probably will. And I hope there is a season two. I don't think they've even announced it yet. But if there's a season two, I think they'll probably explain it more and maybe flesh it out more. So hopefully that's the case. But as of right now, I would say it was kind of an awkward ending. But these things didn't totally take me out of it. They didn't totally ruin the show for me. Of course, there was so much more to enjoy. The verdict. The boys caught me by surprise. I didn't know what to expect and I was blown away. Amazing characters, great storylines, great action, great uh, dressing of real world issues. I think this show just had it all. So if you don't have Amazon Prime, then try and get a trial or get it from one of your friends. I definitely think this is not one you wanna miss. Have you seen the boys? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.